What if you were slowly turning into bedrock? Would you do nothing and become a statue? Or would you fight to find a cure? Even if there's a 0% chance of you surviving. Well, it first started when I joined this server. Quiff, we want you on the server so much so that you never leave. You finally have what you want. Finally! You're gonna have to MLG with this. Good what do you mean? Oh, okay, and... Oh, wow. Why are you guys blocking this off? First of all, what is this room? Wait, are those players? Why are they in stone? But there's a sign right here. He who enters will be cursed. Medusa's curse? Oh my god, this statue's Medusa. Which explains why these players are covered in stone. But can't I just break out of here? Okay, no, it's covered in bedrock. And I have nothing in my inventory right now. But oh my god, can I steal your loot? I can't really touch these guys. So they're like statues? Yeah, I can't hit you. So I'm just gonna take this. Yeah, sorry to hear that. Why is my health gone down? Wait, how does this curse work? And why am I turning into bedrock? Like my feet are currently bedrock. The players put a curse on me. The reason they don't want me off the server is because they're gonna make me into a statue. And once I'm fully covered in bedrock, I'll be dead. I don't have time for that. Okay, if I'm already being cursed, I'm stealing everything in your tomb. And what? Oh! Okay, but this is grown, which means I can quickly take this wood. I now have enough blocks to build out this place. Okay, I can mine out. Wait, I have mining fatigue five. Well, this means I might need to make my way back down. I've lost a heart. And I think my body's turning more into bedrock. And since I have mining fatigue, I've lost all the wood I have. I understand. If I try to escape, I get hit with a wave of mining fatigue. I think there's another sapling over there. <gasps> oh! Oh, I almost jumped in that. I might need to escape fast. Because Medusa's staring into my soul. If I don't return fully into bedrock, I need to escape and find the cure. The lava's almost filled up the room. And the wood's burning. Which means I only have two minutes to find an exit. I'm going to place a block here. Luckily, I got a gold block. I just place that there. If I go in now, I'm almost out. I just need to glitch out this place. Oh, okay, I'm free. So let me quickly leave this place. Since I'm now slowly turning into bedrock, I need to find ways to stop this. And that might be killing someone. And that's why I'm outside this house. Because there should be a player inside. But oh my god, look at my feet. I need to find a way to kill him soon. Or the bedrock's gonna take over me. But that's why I have these two items. Since it's in full netherite, I don't have enough gear for a fair fight. And I'm currently on five hearts. But that's where the pumpkin comes in. This pumpkin has cursor binding. And I'm gonna use that to cover his vision. So when he can't see me, he'll be an easy kill. And he's currently in a chest. Which means if I just quickly break this, place a dispenser right here. Oh my god, he's streaming, but that doesn't matter. I put that in there. And then I just place this here. Okay. No! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. That's Oh! It worked! It worked! It worked! It worked! Oh my god. What is this? Get out of the vision. Get out of the vision. Just keep running. Keep running. Okay. No, no. Oh my god. He hit me once. I actually killed him. But why has my heart dropped? And my skin's turned more into bedrock. This means if I kill a player, instead of gaining a heart, I'll lose one. And I'll turn more into bedrock. But now I have full netherite. Because this might help me. I need to find different ways to stop the corruption. And since killing a player doesn't work, what if I try to kill them with a trap? And that's why I'm outside this shop. This might seem ordinary, but it's a complete scam. The owner's selling off fake netherite, and he's becoming overpowered. All right, for a dragon egg, I will give you this axe. He's selling the axe for a dragon egg. Yeah, you're the All perfect right. person to kill. Since his business is going well, he won't suspect me trying to kill him. And it's a perfect way to test if it will save me. I can shoot him here, and it'll only take me three shots to kill him. Kidzy! Oh my oh, god! Man, what's up? Oh my god, that well, almost hello. backfired. I got a netherite chest plate with your name on it. I'll give it to you for some diamonds. While he's distracted, I can go underneath the shop and set up a trap. And I'm in a decent hole. And I see their name tags, which means they should be right above me. I just need to dig this hole, take it all the way down to bedrock. Give me my diamonds oh my back God, he's right, right there. now. You are Kipley. such a little scammer. Kipley, there is no- Oh my- oh, What? Skitty. He oh actually God. died. I, I Yo, why have I dropped a heart? It turns out even if someone dies randomly, I'll lose one heart and the bedrock will progress. Look at my body. I can't wear the legs anymore. And it's halfway up, which means the more the bedrock takes over my body, the less armor I'll be able to wear until it's covered me completely and I'm a statue. Although I can take your gear. Okay, wait, he has nothing in here. But Cookie died and my heart's dropped. Bro, I didn't even kill you. Okay, I need to kind of leave. To find out who put the curse on me, I need to kill everyone. But since my heart also disappear, I can't kill a person. This is the perfect plan to stop me. Right now I have two hearts and half my body is covered in bedrock. This means I only have one kill left. And if I want to stop the curse, I need to find the right person to kill. And that's why I'm watching this player. This is my new target. Now, apparently this player takes no damage. So to test that, I made a small trap inside the house. Okay, they're walking in. Just need to grab something super quick from the house. Ba, 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 ba. Wait. Oh my god, they fell. Wait, what? Oh my god, no, 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 no. 
<laughs> but like I thought, there's no chat message, which means she survived down there. I should leave this area before I get caught real quick. But now I need to find out ways to kill her. Because if I do, I can stop the bedrock spreading. I should just play some TNT mine cards here. And the last one's done. Just to block this off like this. Place a pressure plate. And now when Kipley walks in, she'll blow up. And since TNT does a burst of damage, it should kill her. Is that TNT? That's not gonna do anything to- Okay, dude. That did literally nothing. What did that accomplish, huh? Oh my god! I haven't lost the health. My bedrock's the same. Oh my god, it's because she survived? This proves she's the cause of the bedrock. So if I can find a way to kill her, I can survive. Okay, but I'm in a good spot because I'm inside my house right now. And since I'm the only player that uses traps, she'll be coming to find me. And that's why I'm going to dig this out. The plan is to use enough damage to one-shot her because she won't be able to survive that. I'm going to place these dispensers right here and fill them up with instant damage potions. But when she falls down into the hole, the instant damage potions should one-shot her and the curse should be lifted. I should add carpet to all this to cover it. And it's set. Now I just need to wait for her to come through the door. Quip, I know it's been you setting these traps, man, okay? We to oh my god! So dumb! What? She was killed using potions! But I've gone to one heart. And look at me! It's up to my arms now! I can't click on any sort of gear. Does this mean Kipley wasn't the mastermind? Okay, I'm gonna kind of leave this area. All my plans are failed. That's when I realized someone wanted Kipley dead. But they didn't want to do it themselves, so they made me kill her. There was a mastermind behind all of this. And I had to find out exactly who it was. After a process of elimination, I found out who wanted him dead. And this player could be the cure to my bedrock. And oh my god, I was right. Is that a bedrock statue? Well, I'm currently on one heart. And I see a dripstone right there. So if this place is covered in traps, there's no way I'll survive. So either way, I'm dead. But wait, I see some name tags. I just see a bunch of bedrock. And a statue here? Which right now might look like me. But what is this freaky entrance? And is that a player? The players who turned into bedrock were rested here. Which means the owner of this place is the cause for all of this. Oh my god, what is this? This must be Donny. Nestor? Okay, I don't know who you are. But this means they're all currently my friends. We sell anything illegal. This means the player I was tracking is the owner of this place. And if I kill him, I can find the cure. So it's a good thing I bought these items. Put that there and put all this leather cursor binding. So now when the player walks back into his shop, the leather armor will equip and he'll be an easy kill. I now need to just wait in this tree. But the problem is I have one heart and I can't really kill him. But if I quickly use the absorption glitch, maybe the absorption hearts will count as real hearts and I can get away with this kill. Oh my god, he's right there. I need to follow him. Oh my god, the armor's been equipped. And weirdly enough, he's not freaking out. But since he's in full leather now, I can confront him. Hey, Quiff. No, there's no high Quiff. Why are you in this place? I'm just selling things. Tell me, why did you do this to me? Look at me. I'm, I'm fully bedrock. Give It'll me the cure. Soon, no, Quiff. no, give me the cure right now. No. What do you no. mean no? It's too late for you, Quiff. There's no... Okay, the only thing that's too late is that you're dead. Oh my god. Okay. I killed him, and my absorption heart got taken away. But oh my god, look at my body. Since I killed another person, my body is now 85% bedrock. And unless I find the cure in the next 10 minutes, it's over. I have one golden apple left. Why, why is that bedrock? There's no one around me. Even though I'm almost a statue, I found some new powers. Anything I touch now turns to bedrock. Wait, I can test this. If I put dispenser here, so that means if I punch this now... Oh! My! No way! Oh my god, it's overpowered. This is overpowered. What about cobblestone? So if I punch this... Oh! It turned into bedrock! I can't mine it, so it's actually bedrock. The powers are cool, but I'm almost a statue. Which means I have 10 minutes to find a player and kill him, or it's completely over. And oh my god, I accidentally found a player. He's inside here. When anything bad goes down, he escapes every time. But I have all these blocks ready. I'm gonna build a bedrock cage to trap him. So when I go to kill him, he can't escape. If I punch this now, oh my god, what about this? And I just keep on doing this all the way around. I'm making all of this into bedrock. And after building a bedrock wall, I was ready to fight him. What? Yeah, what? there's no escape now. Yeah, it's what? me. Well, I'll have you know, the curse was, uh, it was in my favor. It oh shouldn't be god. possible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damn it. Yes! All my absorption hearts disappeared. And I'm 99% covered in bedrock. Luckily, there's only one more player I need to kill. And the curse should be lifted. Okay, the last player is inside there. But there's a bunch of security guards around. And I see you in the top room. But how do I walk inside without being killed? Why is my face creeping me out? I'm almost full bedrock. I don't have any god apples left. I have no more gapples. These give me an extra two hearts. And two hearts should be enough to kill him. I need to draw the warden's attention away. Oh my god, wait. Was this a good idea? I've successfully infiltrated the base. I don't know what traps could be inside this house. So I have to be extra careful. But with how I am, I only have two minutes left. 
So let me put the TNT in my inventory and slowly make my way closer. Although they're right... Oh, I'm right beneath them right now. Wait, okay, I'm here and they're right above me. I have a simple idea, actually. If I just make this trap here, like so, and turn it all to bedrock, I can put them in a bedrock trap. Please, please, please. Yes, it's in the bedrock. Oh my God, okay. You're completely stuck. How did you get past my security? What are you... It was easy. You're gonna pay for... Oh my... Yo, yo, okay, okay, listen, listen, listen. I have a theory. If I kill you, I could go back to normal. And you can't really escape right now, so... What did I do? Because you're the last person on the server. Yeah, no, yeah. How about... No! Oh, no, good look, Cliff, good why? look, good look. No! She died! But my health hasn't gone down. There's no one else on the server. And after waiting four minutes, I was finally free. I mean, I'm stuck like this, but hey, it's a new look.